I, w I want to start for a minute. This is not what we originally talked about, but uh, given uh, the president's announcement a few minutes ago, I want to comment on it very directly. Uh, the president has apparently vetoed yeah. the Keystone yeah. pipeline. Yeah. Now, this is a stunningly I tried to edit myself. It's just too hard. Look, let me be honest. This is a stunningly stupid thing to do. <laughs> Obama's decision is stupid on three grounds. There's, I mean, there's no better word for it. These people are so out of touch with reality, it's as though they were governing Mars. Talk it up. Come on. Stupidity number one. We need the jobs. Now maybe, maybe when they're unemployed in November, they'll figure out jobs matter. But what kind of a president kills 20 to 50,000 construction jobs plus a 30 to 50 year process of processing in Houston, the largest petrochemical center in the world, and the ports of Houston and Galveston making money, shipping, all of that thrown away so Barack Obama can appease a group of left-wing environmentalists in San Francisco. It is just stupid on the jobs basis. Second, Obama's decision is just plain stupid on energy security grounds. You, got the, you have the Iranians practicing publicly how to close the Straits of Hormuz. Yeah. You have right. Chavez as a dictator in Venezuela threatening our supply there. You have total instability in the Middle East. I mean, if there was ever a time you need an American energy policy to get free of the Middle East, it is right now. And my goal is to make America so energy independent that no American president ever again bows to a Saudi king. But there's a third reason the Obama decision is stupid. I would have said to you three or four years ago, that it was inconceivable that an American president would drive Canada into a partnership with China. Oh, my God. But that's what's going to happen. Prime Minister Harper is a conservative. He's pro-American. It's much less expensive and makes much more sense to bring the pipeline straight down so you don't cross any mountains. But if he's faced with a president who's not going to allow Canada to get its oil out through the United States, he's going to cut a deal with the Chinese for them to finance a pipeline across the Canadian Rockies to Vancouver, and they're going to ship it straight to China. Oh. So what, we will have, what, what Obama will have done is killed jobs, weakened American energy security, and driven Canada into the hands of China out of just sheer, utter stupidity. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Now, You know, I hope, I think the Congress, frankly, should just take him head on on this. This is such an inexcusably destructive decision that there ought to be a major effort in Congress to put into a bill requiring that it be approved in order to get his signature on something. But we, they, we need to quit letting this guy get away with things that are destructive to the United States. That's right.